Senior correspondent John Miller is a former deputy director of national intelligence. John, good morning. Good morning. So why is the government doing this now? Well, just to set some ground rules, uh, this was not a program I was involved in, or if it was, I wouldn't be able to talk about. But let me talk about in principles why they do things like this. Uh, when you rub data against data, you get more results. Metadata is data about data. So if you're watching a thousand suspected terrorist numbers in Pakistan and Afghanistan, and you want to mix that against a particular threat, you see that this number is in contact with uh, 50 other numbers, but three of them are in the United States. Does that mean that a terrorist there has a cousin in Chicago? Or does that mean that there's a cell in the United States? And to collect that data in bulk and run searches against it, you can get a lot of information back that can show you whether there's a piece of communications or whether there's a network. The key that Major mentioned is it's not about content. They're not listening to phone calls or dealing with names. What they're dealing with is numbers. Mm. And, and what about the skepticism that they're not listening to communications? Do you think Americans should just believe what the government's telling them that, no, we're just rubbing data against data? I think they better not be because everybody at the NSA knows if they're listening in on American citizens without a very special order or a ruling from their lawyers, they're going to jail. That was the rule of thumb in the building. They're the most conservative agency about that probably of any, sometimes to a fault. John, thank you so much.